Hi, I'm Christina with Tina Girl Travels and today I'm going to show you how to get from the upper areas of Niagara Falls where the hotels are down to the actual falls using the Falls Incline Railway. Let's have a look. Believe it or not, this is the view from our hotel in Niagara Falls. We stayed at the Embassy Suites Hotel in the panoramic Falls View Family Suite. I actually have a video, I'll link to the end of this one, of the room tour that I filmed. It was just awesome. So we used the Falls Incline Railway that was located just across the street from the hotel to get down to the falls. This is particularly helpful in the winter months when the paths to the falls are closed. In fact, when we visited the falls, really the only way to get down to the falls was to either drive and park in the lower area or take the falls incline railway so walking along the roads was not an option as even the sidewalks were closed because they were covered in ice and snow there are several hotels that are right across the street from the falls incline railway the marriott the tower hotel the embassy suites that we stayed in one of those corner units that you see there and the oaks hotel which is that one right there I'll add links to all those hotels in the description below if you want to check them out. The Falls Incline Railway is super convenient, but of course everything in Niagara Falls costs money, from ridiculous parking fees to the markup and special taxes at restaurants. Admission to the Falls Incline Railway is $3 each way, $6 round trip or $7 for a day pass. And that's per person, which is a great deal if you're staying at a hotel and wanting to go back and forth from the falls to your hotel. The funicular railway is open year round. It's fully accessible, meaning you can bring a stroller or a wheelchair on board, no problem. It's climate controlled, so you can go in the winter or the summer and you can purchase tickets at the top or at the bottom of the incline. Children five and under are free and so are your pets. Yes, you can bring a dog, a cat or your hedgehog on board. So the line was originally built in 1966 with open air cars. And then in 2013, they decided to rebuild it and enclose the cars so it could be used year round. I think that was a good idea. It's funny, also I read somewhere that they claim this funicular to be the world's slowest. And yet it literally only takes a minute to go from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top, which makes sense. Because the distance is about 59.8 meters and it travels at one meter per second. So each car holds up to 40 people and travels at a slope of 30 degrees. We visited the falls in the winter, which was something we've never done before. And it was absolutely beautiful and a very different experience than coming here in the summer. There were far less people and the hotels offered rooms at very reasonable rates. Just be sure to dress warmly. It was minus 12 degrees Celsius or 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was really chilly, but we still had an amazing time. So now we're heading back up to our hotel on the Falls Incline Railway. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? I would also love it if you became one of my subscribers. You know, that really helps me out as a content creator. And I would also love to know where you're watching my videos from. So leave me a note in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching my video today. I will see you next time right here on Tina Girl Travels.